Today, are you ready? Get ready for a groundbreaking ceremony if you have not gone through one. Get ready. Get ready for a groundbreaking ceremony. Get ready. If you have not gone through a groundbreaking ceremony, get ready. Get ready. Because before a foundation can be built, before a foundation can be laid, applying the concrete to make sure that it's strong and it's stable and it's secure, there must be a proper groundbreaking. The soil must be tilted. The land must be fertilized. In order for the foundation to be strong, steadfast, unmovable, a foundation that will sustain the times, the worst times, the good times, the harsh times. The foundation must be prepared. Are you ready? Are you ready for a groundbreaking ceremony? Are you ready to be blessed? You must first be broken. You must first be broken. Today's message, are you um, ready for a groundbreaking ceremony? Is a message that God is speaking clearly. That even when we feel that he's not listening and things are happening around us, he is listening. It's just at that moment we're, we're going through. We're going through a proper ceremony that has to take place in order for our lives to be transformed, in order for our minds to be restored, in order for our lives to be renewed. We're going to go through some some things and we're not going to understand why we're going through it. But we must trust God. We must trust him and we must believe that no matter what we're going through, that he is still working behind the scenes. Romans eight twenty eight. He is still making all things work together for our good. Despite what it seems like that's happening in our lives. Despite what it sounds like that's happening around us. We must trust God. We, we must trust him even when it seems that he is silently working. He is working. He is working. He is making things better for us. And we must trust him. We must keep the faith no matter what. We must keep the faith no matter what. No matter how it seems. We must keep the faith and we must believe that God is going to intervene. God is going to step right in and he's going to turn it around for our good. He didn't put Romans 8, 28 as one of his words that a lot of us use constantly just to be a a word that that we can just throw around and not trust him that he's going to do exactly what his word says. He is going to turn things around and he's going to make it for our good. He's going to make it for his glory and he's going to receive the glory. He's going to get all the glory. So all we have to do is just trust God and believe that he is going to do just that. Exceedingly and above all that we can even ask. So thanks for tuning in to the Barbara Cox Show. And I love you all. And today, get ready for a groundbreaking ceremony.